All right, we're back with uh, the uh, walkthrough of Ninja Storm Chronicles. Uh, I will fight them slower. <laughs> I will fight the AI slower so I don't miss any more of the audio. Okay. okay. I gotta fight slow. I gotta survive. This is like Modern Warfare. Objective survive. He was deep in darkness, and he no longer felt a connection to his friends. The tilt was always ass. He was consumed. Not for this Naruto. This tilt was actually really good. This, if you could spam this, because tilt didn't use any ninjutsu. Yes. This one was pretty good. He looks so bloodthirsty. It was a, it was a, it goes through, see, it stops chakra dashes on, on top of it being no, a no chakra move, and it's a projectile. Yes. Naruto's words couldn't reach him in this state of mind. What happened to Dad? And though his words had no effect, the remnant of the connection they shared was still inside Sasuke. And that would be relevant to the future. Naruto's actions were not a mistake. <laughs> On to the next battle. I can't lie. This game makes Naruto look so ass because. We're gonna have so many Naruto Sasuke Dad, fights. Sakura and Sasuke after that. Naruto and Sakura's desperate pleas went unheard by Sasuke. Well, we gotta do another Naruto Sasuke fight at the great at the uh, at the Samurai Bridge. We gotta do Naruto Sasuke. Naruto lamented his inability uh, Sasuke, fourth Great Ninja War. But this frustration was the and final battle. Behind his next attempt. Naruto started training right away. Bro, they gotta do they they gotta do Sasuke and Itachi versus uh Meanwhile, there was a target Abuto, bro. If that's not in the game, I'm gonna be so disappointed. Cause they gotta do a lot for fourth grade ninja war. We gotta do a couple battles on there. To try and steal We gotta have a couple battles on there, bro. We gotta have Naruto Killer B versus uh Itachi and uh Nagato. We gotta have to stand strong against the Akatsuki. Gotta have Masked Man versus Kakashi. Uzumaki. We gotta have Madara versus the Five Kage. We got a whole bunch of shit. They just switching things, going straight to the Kakazu Rasen Shuriken fight. Save me some time. Guess it's obvious since I know what happens in the future, but Dad gets the win here, right? Obviously. Why would you think that? Why would you think that? This is alive. Wins this fight hands down. Of course. I mean, he's brimming with confidence and doesn't give off any signs of weakness. And that's all it takes. You, for real, you just need a lot of confidence, bro. Perspective. Although Naruto fell into despair after failing to get through to Sasuke, he could rise to a new level for releasing. Of course, his ninja way played a role. But more than that, yes, friends. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be upset. I don't think they have any, like... They don't have any actually cool cinematics like they did in the old games, bro. Like, I feel like there ain't nothing happening. I'm just, I'm just fighting and the game is talking. We're not really doing anything bombastic. Bombastic side fight. But then again, this is like the special story version. So I'm confused because there's a historic version to go through these stages. So what happens in the historic version? I gotta do the fight fully or some shit? Like, do I get the cutscenes then? I need to find out what happens in this game. We're playing this game all night. I don't give a fuck. Now, with enough experience to defeat even Kakazu, citizens throughout Naruto's village recognized what a powerful ninja he was. In the become. regular store, bro. I hope so, bro. The if not, I'm gonna be so upset. Take a great deal of power to capture Naruto, and because of this, their leader Pain. Moved into action. Pain possessed the legendary Rinnegan Eye and was known for his jaw dropping power. Bro, like my grandpa when he zooted. 
He had killed a great many ninja. Even Naruto's master. Damn! Spoiler! To avenge his master, Naruto trained even harder. This time acquiring sage powers to take on pain. Bro. This shit is skipping so much. Bro, they skipped Jiraiya versus Pain. <laughs> Kids, your favorite fight's here. That was fast. Damn, did we not get Sasuke and Itachi? We didn't get Sasuke and Itachi. It got blown the fuck up. It shows you what incredible power the Renegades Yeah, man, Naruto used to be cool as shit. Ain't that right, Boruto? Naruto used to be cool as shit. Double Rasengan? Bruh, this was the shit back in 2011? When this shit come out? 12, 11? On the Xbox 360, this was the shit. He's in Sage mode, right? I know about this. Okay, you know about Sage mode? Nature energy or yeah, nature energy, exactly. Naruto was the village's last hope of defeating. I never wanted anything to do with that. Now, he's yeah, he's the coolest motherfucker on, on in Shonen. Naruto is the coolest person in Shonen. Well, actually, maybe. You know, I think the only person who could you the only the only other person in Shonen, at least back in the day. I don't know about these new cats out here. These these I know Tanjiro, bitch. I'm not no Tanjiro's not going up there. But, bro. Yusuke Urameshi is the only shonen protagonist that could ever compare to like being cooler than Naruto. Goku ain't cooler than Naruto. He's just not. Goku is stronger than Naruto, but he is not cooler than Naruto, bro. He has cooler moments, maybe, but he's not cooler than Naruto, bro. Like, nobody is really cooler than Naruto besides Yusuke Urameshi, bro. I, and personally, I would like to say Baki is up there. Cause I like Baki, but even then, I don't know. I don't know. I really like Baki, but I don't know. Nagato had a different concept of peace than Naruto, but Naruto's great spirit softened his heart, and they reached a peaceful resolution. Naruto had saved the Hidden Leaf from crisis. They had a time skip in Boruto. As the village hero. When the hell did that happen? Once an orphan. Bro, what? <laughs> what? He was what? accepted and loved by all. Dad. Oh. That shining light. You've collected all the memories up to now. Perhaps you should get back to the time reservoir. An omen of imminent danger hangs over the time reservoir. What is it? It seems her Kisaki appeared again. Yeah, I'll look into it. You are dangerous. You will live here from now on. Do you understand? The Senju are coming! Send Nanashi out here! Ha ha ha! Did you see that? The Senju clan were running scared! Senju joined up with another clan. Apparently, it was to fight Nanashi. I found her. She's Nanashi Uchiha. Get her! See her out! Stop! 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 Someone help me! Why is this happening to me? I 
religion? This world? I hate them all! What I saw was her back at the time when she was sealed away. Her power was too great. So she was sealed He's away OP? by people who Bro, talking to the Tintails by himself. Wait, what? If I were treated unjustly, or talk and talk to the Tintails? And every ninja in the world That's became crazy. my enemy and was imprisoned. I could understand why you would come to deeply hate ninja and the ninja world. So that's why she's trying to destroy the ninja world now. Her misery is that she never found someone who understood her. There's only so much our hearts can take. Is so ass. <laughs> this shit is so ass. This shit is just so ass, bro. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Why do we have to fight allied what about the gameplay, though? At least is that alright? Yeah, it is. It is, and it's. It's a little okay. It's a little bit better, but some choices like threw me out. I'm echoing. Oh. Hello? Yeah. No, okay. Yeah, no, it just literally the ca the gameplay, there's like the best way to explain this game from Storm 4 to this, it's it's two and a half steps forward and two steps back. So it's like a little better and they do change shit, but it's like, well, you took out some unnecessary shit for no reason. Or you added extra shit for no reason, but you sacrificed the cool shit. Like cool, you giving me this cool rewind of the the story, but they also took out the cool cinematics, like in Storm Two and Three. Remember the cutscene shits? Yeah, so there, yeah, so the fight, it, like in between the fights, is not cinematic. No, bro. Like there's some cinematics in here, but they're short. Like you can tell which ones have like a bigger budget, but there's like not really. It, it's not doing anything fun. It's just repetitive in telling you. It's literally telling you a story. You're not interacting with it. Like why? Like literally, they're telling you Naruto, and the gameplay is survive. It's it's like don't die. Just take their health bar one time, and then next story. Like you'll see in the gameplay, bro. This shit is not even a story, bro. Like this is not even a game. This is not a game. This is an interactive movie. However, Crazy, its vanguard well, will not I be. I mean, you. it's like that's Passed that's away. pretty much what everybody feared, but everybody was like, nah. I, but the me. Did, oh, no, not even everybody knew it would be shit, but I was like, oh, maybe they'll do it right. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, bro, I maybe, was hoping. I was hoping, bro. I was hoping that he was gonna do something good. Uh, you know how things are going for Sarda and Mitsuki. Yeah, uh, uh, motherfuckers have the nerve too. to be like, we don't usually. Wait, work I need to focus on my own mission. Like, what are we doing here? Like, it's not even a, like, what are we spoiling here? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, I totally forgot. Yeah, they wanted a review for this. I got a review for you. This shit is ass. Like, nobody forced you to make this. Who for who who was like, damn, they should make a new storm game and fuck it up? Like everybody that wanted a new storm game just wanted like some updated shit. And the restoration of his clan. Seriously, I mean, well, they, like, I know, like, what I, up, I, I heard people liking Boruto more. Yes, recently. yes, I know. I had people come into the stream saying, "Oh, Boruto's fire, this and that," and I've seen the the end of the manga, so I know that's true. I've seen like the last fight in the manga, and that shit was really actually awesome. But when does Boruto get that good? Because I saw the first four episodes, and I said this shit's ass, and I jumped off the train. But eventually, it got good. So when did that happen? Yeah. 
They should have showed that in the game. I was hoping that it was. Why is it not in the game? Who had no intention of abandoning? Like, bro, the best part of this game is old shit, but they didn't even do the old shit right. So who get, who is this game for? This game is like for people who've never played, who've never seen Naruto, and it's just not even a great version of it. It's like now I'm on my favorite part of the Ninja Storm Three, and it's losing all the context. <laughs> Holy shit, and they're playing the same music. Like, oh my god. Who the fuck, like, what? Uh, I feel like I should sue. <laughs> this is a waste of time. <laughs> and y'all want a review? I'm, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This is the review. I'm, I'm on a walkthrough. This is episode three of the walkthrough. This game is a six out of ten. I'm waiting for it to get better. But right now, it is a six. I'm waiting for it to get better so I can be like, oh, it's like Final Fantasy. It sucks the first 10 hours, but eventually it gets good. Like, OK. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, Final Fantasy. Yes. That's, that's the best way to play. Because Final Fantasy 13, that was an ultimate. Like, this game is fucking horrible. Like, it gets good after the 40th It gets hour, good like, later. Oh like, OK, bitch. <laughs> You gotta suffer through shit, and then it's good? Okay. <laughs> uh, and that's the crazy, because Final Fantasy really be like that. A lot of games be like that. Like, Final Fantasy 15, I was like, man, I remember this game was awesome. As soon as I started playing this shit, I said, man, this shit boring as fuck in the beginning. When the hell did it get good? <laughs> For the new man, this is so disappointing because it's just it's like no. Naruto's like one of the biggest one of the biggest franchises in the world. Like, yeah, bro. I, like, how hard is it to do it right? You know? <laughs> oh, you know what's crazy? Maybe it's just the special story. Kids is using copium, so you're telling me instead of focusing on the new shit, which is the special story, which is the reason why you should have made this, you're telling me they focused on the old shit. Because if you're telling me that, I am beyond disappointed. Because I already played the old shit. Why the fuck do I want to play it again? Who the fuck, like, it's like Dragon Ball Tenkaichi. Like, every time a new Tenkaichi game came out, okay, congratulations, you're playing up to the Cell Saga. Or you're playing to the Boo Saga. Like, where is the new shit? I don't get it. Because they, they, they know the anime fans are going to buy it again. So, and then that's, that's just the truth. Like, Naruto fans will buy it again. They'll complain about it. They're, they're as bad as the Call of Duty fans. They'll cry about it. They'll, they'll have Reddit forums. They'll have Discord threads, channels. But then they're, like, playing that shit. For the next but because it's crazy because there's not really any other game that does the 3D arena fighter good. Like, that's the only caveat I could give for it, is the 3D, or the actual gameplay is good. Every other 3D arena fighter has been ass. The My Hero game was ass. The, the, what's it, the sh Jump Force, ass. Tenkaichi is the only one, Tenkaichi and, uh, and this, these are the only two that do good. Those are the only ones. Uh, what's, the, what's the other enemy? The Demon Even Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer is just a copy of this. Demon Slayer is just a copy. Is I is is I is I. Yeah. It it was fun competitively, but I'm not a competitive ass person, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're competitive, then yeah, Demon Slayer is fire. Congrats. <laughs> Bro, sorry, I'm the best demon demon player. Okay, cool. Where's the prize pool? That one was only like like six hours too. You know? like, which, yeah, that was short, fine, and which is like, crazy. It was good because of the story, because I never watched Demon Slayer, so I was able to fr pretty much figure out a lot of shit. And even if they were skipping some more intense scenes, they still put effort in the fact that they did the little cutscene thing. So you experience the moment that everybody goes, "Oh shit, this was crazy!" But now I get to press a button, so it's kind of like I'm doing something. But even that one was lacking compared to storm even three and then four did it did it worse this one's not doing it at all like where the fuck are the good 3d fighters 3d arena fighters and it's up to budokai bro it's up to the next tenkaichi tenkaichi 4 comes out next year if tenkaichi 4 flops bro then it's like bro 3d arena fighters are all ass and if you still play it you dead ass are like just the call of duty people 
Because the Call of Duty people complain every year and they still buy it, bro. And I'm doing it because it's my job, bro. <laughs> Yeah. Like that's my I mean, ultimate I'm, excuse. I'm, too, like, I'm guilty of it too. Like I, I would fucking rage on every Call of Duty like halfway through. Like I'm never playing this shit again. Then they're like, oh, the new trailer drops. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what is it? New gun? <laughs> new yeah, map? Like, I, I, I did that. I did that for at least like six years until I finally quit. Like at Infinite Warfare. Then I'm like, alright, I'm done. Like, damn, bro, it took you to Infinite. God damn. Like, I yeah, hopped off like, that bitch. Modern Warfare 2, <laughs> from Modern Warfare 2 to Infinite Warfare, like... Dead ass? Oh my god. How the fuck? How? It's like... Well, like, how? There's so many games that were trying to be Call of Duty so bad. Especially back then. Like, I hopped off at Advanced Warfare. Yeah, but it's just one of those things where it's like... Because I'm competitive too, for people who are competitive, it's like it feels better to be good at a game that everybody plays. Uh, so like, that, that, that's part of it because it, it's not even so much like it doesn't matter how good the game is, it's more of just like cultural clout almost. Like when you talk to your friends and you play with your friends and you're like, oh yeah, let's get those pop on. And then notably, I don't know, I think, I think that's what it is more than anything. But aside from that, as well as just branding, man, branding always wins. Uh, like, if you have a strong brand and it lasts a long His time look, look, look at what's happening to netflix like yeah. netflix was dying when last year now they're fucking now. dominating like they're they're destroying time. everybody thought they were gonna die off and now every other streaming service has died off and netflix is the one who's gonna live on because <laughs> they got some good shit netflix. too <laughs> they got some they still shit bro they, they don't put naruto on on there they don't put one piece on they got private shit that's good their originals are good like bro they got a lot of good shit on there I'm dead ass like why the fuck would i buy all like uh, yeah i miss disney i miss star wars but star wars sucks now so who gives a fuck yeah, that's, that's the other thing like they, they did so good a job like just recently they got like hbo mm. so back on netflix, netflix bought what yeah, they yeah, they because they, yeah. they're struggling so much with money that they had to license their their shows. Back yeah, up. they thought it was so yeah, easy to do it themselves. Cool. They thought it was so yeah. They're like, oh, we can do it. Why are we paying Netflix? It's like the same thing with like, I guess Steam and like Epic Games. It's like, I'm sure somebody's like, oh, I'll do my own. Like, no, it's not that easy. That's exact. That's the best example. Where it's like now, right? Everybody was the past five years. Everybody launched their own launchers. Like you know, like Opera GX Ubisoft, and all this. Central, the fucking yeah. EA, the EA, whatever. And it's like, all right, this point, you know, it's your own thing. But at the end of the day, Steam is key. You know, yep. Because yep. it was their first. <laughs> like, <laughs> How many people still cry about Epic Games every time? Like, I, I don't know, maybe they do. A like, couple people do. I, 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 I get over it. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, Modern is beating my ass. <laughs> bro, this, this game is so difficult. Like, this can't be for new people, bro. This game le legitimately is difficult. Well, I mean, not for me. Like, my health bar is still high, but it's like... If you didn't know how to play the game, you would struggle. You would. You would struggle. How the fuck are like rookies that, playing though. this? That's good. That's how they make it longer. <laughs> oh, because they suck ass? <laughs> it's like they can't get past the stage. <laughs> I mean, if you suck, you suck. It is what it is. But yeah, this game is actually pretty challenging. I'm over here doing combo cancels, and they nerf the damage you do. So that's why that shit's hard, because I'm doing these long ass combos and his health's barely going down. What happened to dad then? Only <laughs> Dude, this game's hilarious. I'm editing right now and I definitely see like all the cutscenes are just like those those side profile, like mm. just the side camera thing. Mm. That's it. Like, nothing in the fight to me. <sighs> I see why I ain't got I see why I don't got forty thousand views from homeboy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, and this dude broke embargo, but like, yeah, bro, literally cheated, got it up, and like, no views. <laughs> yeah. Bro, nobody gives a fuck about this game besides the fans. That's literally it. Because yeah, they didn't hype it up that either. Like, they didn't no, they did like, I was seeing trailers everywhere. They, they fucked up the trailers. So many people were like, "What is this shit?" 
And they were right. And then they started showing some good shit. But by then it was too late. But it really was shit. So they showed the real shit on accident. <laughs> They showed the real so shit on uh, accident. Flashbacks? Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! The best part of the game is the old shit. That's what I'm saying, bro. It, like, they show some new shit, and then the new shit is a rehash of the old shit with a new twist on it. And, like, the motherfucking enemy is a Uchiha. Like, damn, did Itachi miss two more fucking Uchiha or what? Like, I thought, Uchi I thought Itachi killed them all. It's like, nah, he missed two more. Like, okay, sure, he missed Obito, okay. Madara, okay, you know, that makes sense. Should we? Oh, okay, you know what? Uh, wait, hold on, who the fuck are all these other motherfucking Uchiha? Oh, by the way, there's two more. <laughs> and one has infinite Sukuyomi. Like, one has fucking uh, Amaterasu. Like, bro, ain't that Itachi's special move? How the fuck they get Itachi's move? Wait, what the fuck? This game, bro. Was there a new girl? Yeah, there's a new girl Uchiha, and she has Itachi's special. But you remember, in Naruto, you can't copy people's fucking. Uh, you can't copy people's special moves. Uh, well, the the, the Keke Genkai. Like you can't copy cop to cop. Itachi's Amaterasu, you cannot copy it unless you get his eyeball. So how the fuck did she get it? She got it because they're not in a real world. The real world, or the world she's in, is a fucking VR. And the VR headset is a Genjutsu. And I was literally guessing that the whole time. I'm like, this has to be like some type of Genjutsu. And there it is. <laughs> the VR is a Genjutsu. <laughs> And the people playing the online game can play as literal terrorists, bro. They can play as the Akatsuki in the game. How the fuck are they all gonna play as the Akatsuki in your online game? And one of them literally destroyed the whole village and killed everybody, like in universe. Why is he in the in the universe game? It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> They say, yeah, hey, I like, that's like if, bro, that's like playing Call of Duty and they put Osama Bin Laden in that bitch. Like, that's, that's the equivalent, bro. You play Call of Duty and they come out with the Osama Bin Laden pack. <laughs> that is some crazy shit. He got the new Osama skin. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that shit got, bro. How much would you bet that that would be a thing if the gaming industry would be like it was back then in like the raunchy days of gaming? Like, you know, when South Park was prime and they had the ability to do DLC. Oh, my God, bro. I feel like there would have been an Osama Bin Laden something, bro. And it would have got backlash. Before, before 9-11, you could have done it. After, you couldn't. And that's it. That's just what mm -hmm. it comes down to. Like, there's just certain lines. So what about with South Park? When did South Park do their Osama Bin Laden shit? I don't know. I mean... Because I remember that episode, but was that after? That had to be after 9-11. I don't know. I'm going to look well, it up. I mean, like... South Park, well, yeah, so, but South Park is different. Like, yeah, yeah maybe if they did it in game, then then and in show, fine. Because South Park is South Park. There's certain Once people again, like there's certain people like Charles there. Barkley. Like, mm -hmm. you just say whatever the fuck right. you want to say because okay, you've always been that way, you mm -hmm. know. But like, you're not gonna come out with like a new like Destiny, Halo, Osama bin Laden. Pack. <laughs> 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 Yo, that would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nuts, bro. The world would be, oh man, we'd be living in a different type of, bro. I mean, we already got Nicki Minaj, 21 Savage, Snoop Dogg playing with some anime girl. I, I don't know, man. Not, not, and Diablo characters are in it. Bro, it's getting crazy. Call of Duty is getting wild. No, no, there is a VTuber thing, like as a watch, it's like an AI girl. And she's like, fill me up every time you reload. It's, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Every time you reload, she's like, that's it. Fill me up. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, bro. They do some crazy shit on COD. Help <laughs> me. It's DLC. That's the best part. So you're on 5-4 right now? 
Yeah. I'm already caught up to it. I'm downloading three right now. I think oh, nice. that was from when Nanashi was released from the seal. Yeah, yeah even for the movie, it's like... Yeah, Bro, it's, it's the, the same. Fights, but yeah. Else. <laughs> yeah, you literally cut some of the like the ending parts of the fight. Yeah. Bro, this is literally like a easy. No wonder why he had the ultimates and shit up so fast. I'm like, bro, how the fuck? How the fuck are you supposed to do all of Naruto? Let's continue. <laughs> By cutting everything out. Bro, we went from episode one, we're like in the episode 200 range. It's been like. It's been two hours. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. It's been two hours you know and 30. The graphics don't even look as crispy as I thought they would either. They, they like. I mean, obviously. Yeah, they the look like whatever. Was like fine, but. Became exceedingly difficult to drive back I'll say the frames are the only thing that make it look good. The frames look great. It's, it's yeah, the 60 it's FPS is good. Smooth. Lexi, no, don't say Naruto. This shit is. This shit is Garbuto, bro. This game is ass with a capital A. Just as they had not. <laughs> with a capital fucking A. Foreshadowing a dramatic change of events in battle. And I'm the bit, bro. I got a tattoo of Naruto. I'm about to get this shit taken off. <laughs> I'm about to take this bitch off my skin. Ain't no way. What about somebody with with their all their thumbnails on their channel has with the and a fucking Akatsuki do rag? Like, bitch, y'all shitting on me. My stuff. A staff or right. bait by stuff. Have a good day at work. Oh, uh, have fun at school. Praise hell. Praise Dale. I'm sure. Sasuke and I are still here. Seems to me these two could be able to even increase with the tent. Oh, but yeah, like how you gonna talk to somebody who has their entire thumbnail like library? I'm representing. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> no, if someone ever questions me on this game, don't. <laughs> if I say it's ass, I I am the closest to Kanye West <laughs> in the whole fandom. <laughs> let, let me let me put it this way, and I, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm free to say that in the public because it's not like it's embargoed or anything yeah. but it's like uh, Bandai and Namco responded to us and told us hey we don't usually work with no commentary channels but this is what the email said because I sent them the video you did of your favorite Naruto games from, uh, from worst to best damn. I sent them our live stream and I sent them the full yeah, game of the I, you did ask him some fanboy shit, and they had the nerve to say no. <laughs> Fuck no, Bandai well, they, they now, said, no. <laughs> no, no, but what I'm saying is they haven't said no, but... But this is coming directly from Bandai Namco. This this is what, what the response was, which I, I think is cool. It says... Thanks for reaching out. I'm happy to report that I can provide you with the code. After looking at your videos, you're standing your channel overall. I do ask that you focus on the examples you sent me where you're giving commentary and editing. Normally, we don't work with channels with that post and commentary gameplay watch me, but I can tell from your example videos that you're a fan of the franchise. And then, boom. And then you rub it in my motherfucking face. This is what you get for being a fan. This is what I deserve. Mediocre garbage. Thank you. But, I appreciate it. And I don't even blame the devs because the obviously the gameplay is smooth enough. It's, I don't know, somebody at the top had to say, hey man, just throw this shit out. Because Masashi Kishimoto himself has written this shit. This is brand new for him. And for him, he's like, let me just rehash my old shit. Yeah. Madara had absorbed Ten Sad Tails' man. power. So it was him. I don't know who made me Sashi Kishimoto come up with this, but let that man retire. He let him do something else. He's made a lot of great shit. He really has. But bro, let let him relax, bro, because nah, this ain't it. This is not it, bro. As long as the check clears. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, for real, that's what it feels like. It's like, hey, you want to do... It feels like, yeah, maybe a fan of Ninja Storm was like, hey, can we get another game? 
Legends. Because the gameplay and stuff and the online, because the online in 4 was absolutely terrible. You couldn't spectate uh, in a lobby match. You got a lobby of six people and you can't let people spectate a match? Like, what's the point of having me do a party play? I can't see it. I can't interact. Like, I can't see what my opponent can do before we go against each other. So you're getting rid of all the shit that like involves online uh, competition. What's the point of online competition? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this game is my trauma. This is what I needed to wake up. The shit you like is shit too. Yep. Everything I like is shit now. Except, well, Call of Duty is... Uh, it, the story was definitely shit. But that gameplay... Man, this is terrible. I gotta defend gameplay. Like, I hated people that used to do that. I feel like the whole package gotta be good. Is this real? I mean, how do you I'm not like, I'm probably going to play it myself, and I haven't played it in a while, but just, just because I like the gameplay, and it's all the maps that I know. Mm. But that, I mean, at the same time, and then like the story is just a small ass part of that package anyway. So like, nobody can judge the game when complete just off the campaign. Like, you no, know, like, I know, you, yeah. Are you paying $70 for a, for a three hour campaign? It's like, no. Bro, like, like no, this is the, way. and this is the funny shit, bro, because I, I said that to my homeboy because, you know, I have to do it because it's literally work. Nobody else has to do it. I'm like, I'm like, bro, why the fuck did you like? He doesn't even really play multiplayer either. It's not like he's a sweat or nothing. He literally is just a guy that plays Call of Duty. He's literally like the normal person. He got a normal nine to five and he play Call of Duty because it's the chill game to play. Like Call of Duty is chill to play low key. When you're not sweating your ass off, it's a chill game to just pick up and play. Um, and that's why a lot of people hate sweats and shit, but besides that, like, why the fuck are you pre-ordering the game? Because of the skin, bro. I wanted the Makarov skin. Bro, the Makarov skin is literally outdated because they launched with like eight different skins and eight different characters. Like, what's the point of keeping buying COD, like, instantly? It's just because it's the game to play. Naruto and Sasuke it's managed to contain. It. That's why. That's why this shit exists. That's why this Ninja Storm exists. Because it's just a something to play. Like who the fuck wants to play Storm Four? It's old. This is like the Call of Duty version. This is sad. Call of Duty killed gaming. LOL. That's my essay. The ninja was pulled into history. I and only Naruto. Further than that, I always blame Activision because I'll never forget Activision and Madara. Because here's what they do, and they did it. They did it with Tony Hawk, which used to be one of my favorite franchises. They did it with Guitar Hero. Like they just because they want to milk it for everything the game has, they would do yearly releases that are basically just updates instead of just. And then and then you have shit like Zelda, who's still going strong like 45 years later because they only release it like every four or five years. Yeah, that's what makes it more special. That's why it has to be good. That's why Nintendo's right, but Nintendo's bad with their like marketing and shit. <laughs> Yeah. Bro, Nintendo would literally be on top of the world if they didn't fuck over their YouTubers back in the day. Bro, the Naruto YouTube game would be so strong, low key, it probably would take because Nintendo fanboys are notoriously like loyal. But it makes sense because the quality is good. Yeah, and, and then at the end of the day, it's like they got their own niche, but it's the biggest niche ever because they, they've sold like 150 million Switch consoles. They don't give a fuck what you or I do. <laughs> exactly. Or whatever. <laughs> the only thing they fucked up with was the Wii U because it was the dumbest name ever. But, like, the, but, the, but the Wii, the Wii sold 100 and like. Yeah, the Wii was the consoles. shit. <laughs> they should have kept doing that low the, key. <laughs> I would have kept playing it. <laughs> So how crazy is that when you look at the numbers? The mm -hmm. Wii sold 170 million consoles. The Wii U sold 15 million, and then the Switch has sold 150 million. Like uh, that shows you, like literally, it's just because I, you, me, who does it for a living, I, I when it first dropped, I thought it was just like an attachment to the Wii. I did. I thought that damn. So yeah, even like somebody that is a fan, like it's hard to tell what the hell is this. 
So yeah, how do you think like the normal mom? <laughs> yeah, how, how do you think mom and dad? Like, why would I? Why am I gonna buy you a Wii too? Like, what? Like, what? Wii U? What, is this an extra? Like, you already got a Wii. What's the difference? So if they did, if they would have changed the name completely, bro, they would have been fine. If they did not put Wii in it, because they were trying to do brand recognition, but you made it too obvious. I mean, you made it too unobvious because you said Wii U instead of Wii Two or Wii Three. Or the we the the we the next the next evolution of gaming or some shit like we you like what the fuck <laughs> what the you, you seen that scene with that mafia guy what the fuck kind of shit is that <laughs> that's exactly well, what that the same is thing with the X I still say the same thing with the, the Xbox too. I'm like, this Xbox should have been called the Xbox 720. Yes. Done. Yes. Done. <laughs> yes. Yes. Low key. <laughs> Cause how you go? F like they want to be different. All right, Xbox. You know, PlayStation got PlayStation. You know what? 360. Yeah. Okay. What's the next one? Fuck 720, bitch. <laughs> yeah. What's after that? 900, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, like, like <laughs> the easiest slam dunk ever. Like you know, maybe, oh, maybe they were worried about the the resolution <laughs> shit. Because then that's like oh 720p or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. You know, at that point, then they should have just called it Xbox 1080. Why not? Why not? Xbox 4K. Yeah. Xbox 8K. Why not? That that bro, that would have been stronger. Bro, that would have been so much stronger. Cause Mike, every time a new fucking over and over again. Like a new like resolution, like every big one is like, remember HD is like 720. And then YouTube was like, okay, 1080 is the best one. And then it's like, okay, 4K. And then people started putting 4K monitor, 4K TV, 4K this, 4K that, 4K phone, right? So if you got an Xbox 4K, well then shit, we already know how good this bitch is. Bro, literally we went from the beginning of Naruto to the final fight and it's been like an hour. Oh, I see why they call it Naruto Connections. <laughs> You're connecting my hatred for this franchise. I hate this shit. What? You know what I advantage they have we have right now though? The, the guy who broke embargo. Uh he did it, he, he did the Japanese the Dumbass. <laughs> Dumbass. Yeah, this shit's gonna be crazy. You gotta even though the English dub is fucking terrible, it is. It is fucking terrible. How the fuck you fuck up the dub? Bro, just rehire the people. Like, come on. Like some of them have been rehired, but not all of them. Anyways. English is king when it comes to YouTube. Uh, and I agree, the Japanese dubs sound always better. Well, not always. A lot of the time they sound better. But it's like, yeah, you English, you gotta use English. You just have to. No, but remember, yeah, that's like, because I remember we had the same issue of like, because we, we wanted to do the Japanese. Yeah. But then, but then remember what we noticed though, which was crazy, which is like, they did, did watch, both. they did watch. They did watch more in Japanese. Yeah, so because it, it sounded part. good. Because <laughs> yeah. everybody else that watched the yeah. English was like, this, this shit ass. <laughs> Let me watch the Japanese version. <laughs> and other people say, man, I ain't why I ain't reading this shit. And it sound like ass. I ain't buying it. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Even though it was a good game. Just to throw people on game with that though. That's the crazy part, which is like we made more money on the Japanese one with less views. Yes, with less views, because the Japanese people were like were more dedicated to it. <laughs> yeah. This is yeah, interesting. It's like, the English one will, will probably like, it, the best way to do it is to have both, because then like, then you can be like, oh, you can watch the Japanese one here. You yeah. know, like. <laughs> yeah. But that takes extra like, effort. <laughs> and that's why we win, and they won't for, soon, for long. I ain't redoing really this shit in Japanese, though. This is too much a slap in my face. <laughs> Huh? Is Perudo's girl Nanashi? Nan uh, Nanashi is uh, Uchiha. <laughs> That's the Uchiha girl. Yeah. Bro, Perudo looks like literally 
too much like You're Naruto. So he needs, like it's just they Bro, need to do, in the game a little bit. Uh, are you talking about the the orange or the purple? The Both orange. The orange is Naruto. So in the game, it's a BR. So Boruto said, "I'm gonna look like my dad." <laughs> Cause okay, okay. I guess I don't know. He don't even like his dad in the show. At least not at not in the beginnings. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's an interesting. It's an interesting little show, I guess. Naruto's yeah. I remember seeing that. I actually watched the, or I didn't watch it, but it was. Remember in the beat, uh, there was like the DLC for Naruto Four. For his friend. So then they they had a little bit of a Boruto. They had like a Boruto DLC. Mm. Um. And it was like, yeah, he was just—he just didn't like his dad. Naruto's friendship. Sasuke finally. And then all the fans hated it. So. And now they made it so like Boruto loves Naruto. Naruto's so cool, and it's like, yeah, bitch, we know that. We already know that. <laughs> like, why are you telling me he's so cool? I know. <laughs> you should be worried about your own self. Make yourself look cool, motherfucker. Worried about your dad all the time. My dad did this. Yeah, he did that. What the fuck you gonna do? You need to do some shit. And then he eventually started doing some shit in the end. I just need to know when he starts doing some shit. So I seen well, the end. I know he does do some shit. I just need to know when he start doing it. The time has come. The last three hours. Let's get <laughs> three hour deal. Right. It's always the last part. Like yeah, there it is. <laughs> You've done well. I'm sure right, you've seen quite a that. lot. Chasing your father's up, memories man. through time. You up and off. Yeah, I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna I knew everything about I'm my dad already. Put these right now. I'm gonna focus on the game. I didn't even right scratch now, the so surface. Listen to this shit. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I'm almost done with Fallout Four. Well, like twenty more minutes. Life. Twenty more minutes. Fallout Four to be done. I don't know yeah, how fast your rendering is. Key to returning the memories. Yeah, I mean, like, well, I'm gonna render on like all three computers and shit. So I can oh, catch okay. up to you. Right. Yeah. Is that Nanashi's? Alrighty. Alright, they look. Yeah, yeah. reappeared. <laughs> but it's different from the others. Fucking hate this game. What do you mean? I don't know exactly. You'll have to check. Hikari. Yes, the ninja world may still be in the darkness right now. But I want this child to walk with a new light. That's why I wanted to name her Hikari, meaning light. Is that strange? It's a good name. Bro, oh, this is literally like Naruto. The fuck? Hikari Uchiha. That's her real name. Then why does she call herself Nanashi? Having lost her parents and finding herself being used as a tool for war, her heart broke and she was given a new name. Nanashi, meaning one without a name. That was the new name given to her. Having lived her life like a doll, a name must not have been important. What? Damn it, this is making me so angry. Mm. She lived her life in the shadows, with no future ahead of her. Nanashi is Mume. Hell yeah, bro. I can't wait to watch some VTubers after this, bro. VTubers are way better than this shit. A cold. This shit's ass, bro. I can't wait to go back to watching Nanashi Mume. I'll never let Yara. Bro, I'd rather watch them than do this shit. This shit is so terrible. Naruto's memories that you've collected. Whoa, there, pipe down. Fuck you, bud. <laughs> now, let's restore the ninja. This shit is ass. Was. Yeah. Takahashi Kiara. Taka. Hello. Connections born of Naruto Uzumaki's memories. Run and spread across the ocean of memory. And now 
Shinume. Resurrect here and now. Shinume. Hey, Chan. VTuber is better than a 10 million budgeted game. Bro, who the fuck spent 10 million on this shit? Who spent 10 million to make this? You should have get a you should get a fucking refund. Cyber Connect, y'all spent 10 million? Well hell no. Nah. You spend no motherfucking 10 million on this shit. No the fuck you didn't. You a lie. You're a liar if you're telling me they spent 10 million dollars on this. You a motherfucking liar. Where the fuck the money go? Cause somebody pocketing some shit. Somebody is literally pocketing millions. Cause this is like a, a eight, uh, like a four, six, seven, eight million budget. If they spent ten, they literally somebody's literally stealing money. I, I, bro, no, this game is not this. Bro, no, there's no way this shit costs ten million dollars. This is expensive. Oh, the, oh, it's the ultimate attacks. You're right. That's what it is. It's not the shitty story. It's the ultimate attacks. Remember, that's the part we care about. Yo, look at the ultimate attacks. Damn, look at the graphics. Damn, that shit look crazy. You damn right, pug. You motherfucking right. That's where the money went. Okay, so they not, maybe they are still in. I, uh, I think corruption's everywhere. I think corruption is everywhere. Until proven not guilty, you're guilty. You stole some shit, yup. <laughs> Cause I don't trust that a motherfucker can't steal. People steal from you. People steal from homeless people. Uh, you think they ain't gonna steal from your dumb ass? Like, no. Stealing exists. Mm -mm. Like, who steals from homeless people, bro? Like, <laughs> how you steal from a motherfucker that ain't got nothing? Let's go. Let's go. Old ass ultimate. Fucking. God damn it. Burn it, all away. it still look good though. Look at this shit. This shit in 4K. Look at these graphics. Even though I saw this shit before. Copy paste jobs. So yeah, 10 million for a copy paste asset flip. What fuck you talking about, boy? Cap. 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 It's the footage. Is this part? Why are you getting in my Bro, way? this shit look like Ruby. It's a little bit of a way to find you. So you day you open up the doors in time. Y'all seen Ruby? And a little bit of evolution. What are you? Y'all seen Ruby? Y'all probably don't know. Y'all know what the fuck that is. What do you want? What are you trying to do? You so obsessed with me. LOL, why you so obsessed with me? Boy, I wanna know. Why are you so determined to stay involved with me? Because we're friends. Because we're friends. With benefits. <laughs> with benefits. <laughs> we're friends with benefits. <laughs> hey. 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 Bro, Ruby was crazy, bro. Y'all hear those fucking riffs? Why don't they got some music like this in the game? You, just what are you then? Are you still under the control of that nobody, Mertz? Just a loser. Or you're you're, you're just a <laughs> loser, Naruto. I think I've already told you several times by now. You're a loser, I'm... Naruto. Naruto Uzumaki. Your friend. Oh. You know? Wait, what? Oh my god, this motherfucker reverse talk no jutsu himself into fixing the world. <laughs> this motherfucker reverse talk no jutsu. <laughs> I ain't never seen no shit like that before. <laughs> Bro, reverse talk no jutsu his way out of this shit. <laughs> Yo, you're kidding me. <laughs> Bro, reverse talk no jutsu. 
<laughs> bro. <laughs> bro, don't he already be reversing jutsus? Don't he be like Kagi Bushin no jutsu? Like he already reversed jutsu and shit the whole show. <laughs> and he said, talk no jutsu. <laughs> Oh shit, man! This is Naru. This is oh boy. For a second, bro, I thought that was Fugaku, Fugaku Uchiha, bro. I was saying, ain't no motherfucking way. He a spy, okay, bro. I'm about to say, ain't no motherfucking way they got Fugaku Uchiha back. When the fuck did they re When they reanimate him? Cause if Fugaku in this bitch, it's game over. <laughs> if Fugaku came back, it's game over. <laughs> I don't know. Well, maybe I think maybe yeah. Sasuke and Naruto fuck up Fugaku, but I didn't do anything. if they wasn't there, you didn't stop this after feeling. Yo, it's done. Fugaku was a. <laughs> they talk like that motherfucker was the second coming to Madara. <laughs> the way they talked that motherfucker up, and they said the only one that could kill him was <laughs> Itachi. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man. <laughs> they said there's only one person that can fuck up Fugaku Uchi. It's his son. <laughs> Multiple Leaf Ninja detected around our hideout. <laughs> Bro, that motherfucking Utachi is Batman. <laughs> that motherfucker U Itachi Uchiha is the Batman of Naruto, bro. You cannot convince me otherwise. This motherfucker got a plan for a plan for a backup plan that you didn't even know existed. <laughs> that motherfucker Itachi. I bet Itachi figured this shit out. <laughs> I bet Itachi got a trump card if 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 Sasuke didn't figure it out. Itachi had a trump card. I guarantee it. That motherfucker Itachi, he know everything. Itachi let this motherfucker live, remember? Remember? The Uchiha massacre? So Itachi let this motherfucker live. So Itachi gonna come back in this shit. I guarantee it. <laughs> Bro, if Itachi came back in this, I'd say fuck with everything I said. This is not a six out of 10. This is a motherfucking eight. It's a motherfucking eight if Itachi come back. I swear to God. Jeez, you didn't hold back, did you? I swear to God. If Itachi come back, it's an eight out of ten. I'm not fucking around. We will see. Because if, if Itachi come back, it's a wrap. This game is the greatest storytelling ever. It's just lazy. <laughs> yeah. Masashi Kishimoto does it again. He brings back Itachi Uchiha. <laughs> He pulls the fucking okie doke. It was Itachi the whole time. <laughs> bro, Itachi is a fucking fucking G, bro. Itachi is top G. We've succeeded in if Itachi game. come back, I'll buy the game. Has been brought back to normal. <laughs> My goodness. Bro, there's really people like that, bro. Yo, if Itachi in the game, <laughs> I'll buy that shit. <laughs> Bro, Itachi is Batman, bro. Itachi got so much clout, bro. I'm amazed there's nobody that's been like Batman versus Itachi. <laughs> Batman versus Itachi, who win? <laughs> bro, Batman versus Itachi would cause a war, bro. <laughs> Motherfucking Batman. If Batman got the prep time, he could beat anybody. <laughs> Versus Itachi. Itachi got Itachi got no prep time and he planned for everything. <laughs> this motherfucker Itachi planned everything. And that motherfucker would die at 15. <laughs> bro, how old was Itachi when he died, bro? Hold on. That motherfucker was like 15. How old was Itachi when he died? Bro, Itachi had to be like, he's 21? Bro, okay, good, he wasn't 15. But how, he was like 15 was he, when he was in the Anbu. So he died at 21 years old. You're telling me a motherfucker that just got legal drinking age planned out everything? No shit he better than Batman. <laughs> No shit, he better than Batman. What the fuck? This motherfucker, bro. If Batman and Itachi teamed up, bro, they figured out who they will figure out who God was. Like they'd be like, it's that motherfucker. <laughs> Them bitches team up. Ain't no telling what the fuck you gonna do. You didn't want to do it. Why 
Holy shit, man. Who wins? Batman versus Itachi. Who will win in a battle between Itachi Uchiha and Batman? It depends on Batman's armor. Batman will absolutely annihilate Itachi in his best armor, which has the power of nearly of nearly the entire Justice League and can take on Darkseid. <laughs> Can Itachi beat Darkseid? <laughs> Itachi can beat Darkseid because he has the Mangek Yoshari. Because <laughs> he got he got the Mangek Yoshari on. <laughs> he got Sukuyomi. <laughs> he got. He got Izanami. He got Izanagi. He got reanimation. <laughs> he got infinite chakra. I knew it. Like <laughs> Holy shit, this game is so bad it's making me wish it was better by any means necessary. Oh god. The game in the in the in the end of this game, Itachi comes up. And then he opens up a portal and Batman steps out of that bitch. And Batman's a guest character in this game. <laughs> that will make this game a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Batman cannot win without really horrible writing. He wouldn't even get a hit. Who will win a fight between Itachi and Batman? The speed of the reaction levels of Itachi is way too far out of Bat's League. The only thing that would allow Bat's a win is if he was written in a comic or a fanboy's crying Batman factor. Batman cannot win without really horrible writing. He wouldn't even get a hit. Damn, bro. It's one-sided, one way. Batman can be Itachi because he has a suit. <laughs> Itachi's so fast. <laughs> Batman can't hit him. <laughs> oh man. That's episode four of the walkthrough, bro. This shit gonna be game of the year, bro.